Welcome to The Hooded Blacksmith. In this episode, I shall be making an Anubis head, much like the one you see here. If you'd like to see better quality pictures of this one, please feel free to check out my Instagram account, link will be in the description below. This Anubis head was made using this 40 by 15 flat bar. The new one is going to be substantially more exciting. The first thing that I'm going to do is draw this 100 by 25 into a taper and then isolate the material for the ears. From there, I can then work out to make the rest of the material flatter and bigger to make the rest of the head plate. Let's get this puppy in the fire. So, the next step, now that we have forged the main shape of the headpiece out of that piece of flat bar, is to begin curving the skull plate on a swage block. And then be after that, you've got the rough shape of the head, you can begin putting the definition in, such as the eyes, brow, nose, and then moving the ears down into the correct position.
At this point, since you've pushed the brow off the top of the forehead so far with the um, rounding hammers like this, it thins the section of the steel so much that usually you have to put a bit of reinforcement in. So what I normally do is just run a couple of beads over that with the welder just to get some more thickness because we'll be continuing to forge the brow out this way. And then after that, when we come to push the eyes in, it creates a lot of stress in this area because the material is being moved so much. You don't get as much of a problem with the um, rest of the head because you don't need to put as much detail and texture in. And then you may have to do something similar at the snout when we put the nose in because we're going to be curving this part round and then doming out the nose. So again, that will thin the steel there quite substantially. Also off camera, welded this piece of 25mm square in so I can seat it in the leg vise later on and heat the front of it up. And then you can work in with the set punches to push the eyes in. Though I'm going to have to cut this out and move it slightly because when we come to work on the ears here we'll have to cut this down the middle and this piece will be in the way. back up and then uh, continue to push the nose and muzzle out. watching guys hope you enjoyed the video apologies for the long delays between uploads but hopefully part two will be out soon if you enjoyed the video please consider liking and subscribing i'll catch you guys next time